Welcome to CCNS Security class. Today we will discuss CCNS Security Exam Blueprint. And in this uh, discussion, we will discuss the confidentiality, integrity, and availability. What's all these things? So if we see the network security uh, cycle, actually network security cycle have three main concepts. The first one is the confidentiality. The second is integrity and the third one is availability. So these three concepts actually makes the network security cycle. So we will discuss all this one by one in details now. So if we see the first one, the confidentiality, only authorized person or a system can view the sensitive information. What is this? Means, for example, if we have some data, okay, so first we will define that we have two types of data in our network or in our organization. Uh, first, the first thing, the first type is the data in motion. So first, I will I will just explain what's the data in motion. Okay, uh, data is motion. I think it's it's some strange words. Data in motion. Okay, we will discuss this one in detail. We have some data. Okay, we have some servers here. This is our data center. Okay, I will change the color because color is red and that is not good. I think. Okay, so we have some server here. This is our data center and in this data center maybe uh, we have many servers i but i just mentioned one server and this may be in some application or whatever okay we, so we have some users okay this is our users now user want to use some application and this application is inside our data center okay so when he want to access this data uh, application definitely he will use some channels and these channels may be a lan okay or this may be a van so lan is secure slightly secure we can say that lan is secure because it's our network so we should make sure make sure that lan is secure but what about the van means this communication between this end user towards our system okay so this communication is over lan or maybe it's van lan we say that it's sure it's secure because this is our network so we should we can we can take some solid steps to make sure that our network is secure but what's about the van van is not our network okay so we are entering in a global village and we know that when we can enter in the global village any user can enter in the global village okay so this is insecure this is not secure so we should make sure that we when we are leaving our village and we are leaving our home and we are entering in in the open street and this street maybe have some black hat guys there some unauthorized or malicious user there so they are always looking us for a soft targets so we should make sure that we are not soft target you cannot harm me because i am secure so what what the steps we can take for this security so any communication with for, from this or uh, from this end users to towards this uh, towards this server we should make sure that this communication is properly secure so the main concepts the while data in motion we can make secure this one we, we will use the encryption okay we will use some encryption algorithm so by using some encryption algorithm Okay, whatever it's maybe SHA two four two five six or whatever it's, it's uh, MD five or any encryption we we are using. So we will just encrypt our data and it's leaving uh, from from end user towards data center. We will, some, we will use encryption key here and we will decry decrypt this data here. Okay, uh, and when same thing when data moving from this end towards this end, same we will encrypt data here and we will decrypt this. So in this case, our data or our, our, our source is authorized. So it's this communication will be properly secure. But what about now if, if some black guy or some if some unauthorized or malicious user enter in the village, okay, in the same village, and he not have access because why? If he even if if he even see the uh, see the data, but this data is not uh, readable. This this data is not understand for for this uh, understandable from this from this user because this is encrypted. And this encryption, I already told you that we should use always the strong encryption algorithm. So when this user uh, uh, will uh, try to enter uh, the data, uh, will try to access the data. So we should make sure the data is properly encrypted. So finally, this user will not have access. 
So we are secure. So we should make sure that encryption can give us the security level over the network. So if we if we focus now at the, at the uh, I will clear this board. Sorry, uh, it is all on slide. Yes. If we see now the second th second type, second type is data at rest. We have two types. First one is data when moving over the network, and the second one, second thing, what well, maybe data is sitting here, maybe, maybe living here, or maybe it's uh, in the local PC, a local user PC. Okay, so we should make sure that, or maybe it's a cloud. Okay, it's maybe a cloud. So we have user have some applications over the cloud. So we should make sure we already dis, uh, described that this channel is secure by using the encryption algorithm. But we should make some solid steps. Okay, we should take some solid steps that uh, user PC, our data center, okay, our DC, sorry, our explain DC, and cloud is properly secure. Okay, so then both type of data finally we will we will get secure. So we can take some solid steps uh, like what kind of we will install antivirus and we will some inst install some firewalls uh, over the edge uh, of the campus network and in the data center and we we can also use some uh, cloud security levels so we can make sure that both type of data is secure. The next one is the integrity. What's mean the integrity? Integrity means any changes in sensitive information in this data it should be from authorized source okay so we should make sure because this data which is which is inside the inside the our dc it's changing every seconds every seconds we have some change uh, in this data so we should make sure that this changes uh, okay towards this data towards this uh, uh, sensitive information is is properly from from a uh, authorized source okay so we should make sure that this is from authorized source and what about this uh, and this uh, and the third components the third components is availability availability it's uh, actually as i told you before that these three components if we, if we compromise any components or any concept uh, we have some uh, compromise over integrity or we compromise over the availability Finally, data will not available to the end user. So we should. The main concern is our data should be secure. Okay. The basic on the basic uh, idea or the main purpose of this uh, network security cycle overall, the organization data should be properly secure and available to the end users. Okay. So availability, if we see that the systems and data both should be available to the end users or the system without any disruption. Okay. So what's the data? Uh, we know that data should be available to the end user. But what's about the system? System should be available? Yes, the system sure also should be available 24 by 7 because data directly dependent upon the system. Are you understand? Yes, data directly dependent upon the system. What? I will explain. For example, we have user A. Okay, I will give this example. This is user. Okay, and we have some server here. Here's our some server. Okay, when this user want to access this network, okay, uh, sorry, this uh, application inside our server, this is definitely, this is connected to a switch and maybe this switch is connected to core switch and after then it's routers or it's maybe a WAN link or maybe LAN link and maybe here we have some firewall, whatever. So all these components actually involve in this, uh, in this transactions or in this uh, cycle. So we should make sure that all these components available to end user 24 by 7 okay so if we have any disruption or if we have any outage in our systems in our devices if devices failed our data will be affected and data will be also not available because if these components fail for example okay if these components go down shoom, everything go down because this is the main component this is involved in the net and the cycle so if from if link is break uh, break from here outage from here if this link have outage from this source alas uh, sorry we, we not have any information in this area okay uh, and this uh, this information cannot reach end users because link is not available same thing any components if we if we have if this link is healthy and this this all these components work properly but if our applications is not working if we have some errors in our applications 
also the end user will be affected so our main concern is uh, that data should be available to end user and in, in a proper channel through a proper channel and in healthy positions in the healthy state so data directly dependent upon the system so we should make sure that the system should be available as well as data should be available 24 by 7 to end users i hope that uh, you enjoy this one thank you for watching if you have any inform uh, you require any, any information you can visit www.redvirtual.com for any other further information thank you for watching